Just a few hours ago, officials in the state's largest county, Maricopa, issued a press release from its Board of Supervisors, reading in part, Today, the Maricopa County Board of Supervisors canvassed the 2022 general election, certifying the election results are accurate and providing a full accounting of all the ballots cast in the election. But that did not convince some citizens at the Maricopa County general election meeting who had the opportunity to voice their grave concerns about the county's decision. I came here today to get an up close and personal look at the seven traitors to the United States Constitution. Okay, again, We're please. Sitting at that desk. You high and mighty politicians don't even know the meaning of the word fairness. Which of you has any left? Not one. All your dealings are crooked. You give justice in exchange for bribes. And when you certify something, you're saying that it's trustworthy. There's nothing trustworthy about this. This is theater. It's optics. I was a longtime prosecutor. I went after drug traffickers. This is vote trafficking. That's the biggest concern I have is if this election is certified, the only parties that will benefit from this are the cartels. All of this in the wake of a lawsuit filed by the losing Arizona gubernatorial candidate, Carrie Lake, against the election officials of Maricopa County. We're getting a report in that another one of the counties is now involved in a lawsuit tonight. The Lake campaign is demanding officials hand over a variety of documents related to the election and to do so before the county officially certifies its results. The Maricopa County Board of Supervisors chairman, Republican Bill Gates, had been forced to move to an undisclosed location due to threats to his safety. But Lake continues to try to undermine faith in the results. And to her credit, as she basically had promised to do before the election, if she was not declared the winner. Printer problems, tabulation errors, three hour long lines and even longer, and confusing instructions given by election officials made this election day the most chaotic in Arizona's history. Whether done accidentally or intentionally, it is clear that this election was a debacle that destroyed any trust in our elections. Yes, there were issues. Printers at some voting centers produced ballots with markings that were too light to be read by on-site tabulators. Because of that issue, lines to vote were backed up. Carrie Lake says this is where some of her supporters may have been dissuaded from voting. Why this only affected her supporters is unknown, since Maricopa County voted 51.2% for her opponent, Katie Hobbs. Regardless, Maricopa County officials have repeatedly said that all ballots were eventually counted. The one that's, that were too light to be read were placed into a secure box and later put through different machines at county election headquarters. But here's the, the larger point. On election day 2016, for example, there were hour-long vote lines to vote in not just Arizona, yeah, Arizona, but California, Massachusetts, New Jersey, New York, Nevada, and North Carolina. Broken ballot scanners in New York caused delays, provoked complaints. In Ohio, there was a line to vote that was literally a half mile long. In New Jersey, signs were posted indicating that ID was required to vote when that was not the state's requirement. In California and Virginia, various registered voters reported not appearing on the voter list upon their arrival to vote. In Michigan, um, there were various people who claimed that they were directed away from the polls. These issues happen. But 2022 had strikingly few. And more importantly, there's no evidence of fraud or wrongdoing. Some Republicans won in Arizona. Some Democrats won in Arizona. That's what happens in purple states, whether you're a Democrat or a Republican. Joining us now is Mark Kakanovich. He's an Arizona-based attorney. He's represented both Republicans and Democrats in election cases. He's also the former Arizona assistant U.S. attorney working in both the Obama and Trump administrations. Thanks very much for coming on the show. Appreciate it. All right, so what happens now? I mean, this is supposed to be the day, the cutoff day. They all have to, by state law, everyone has to certify, and yet it's clear all the counties aren't going to certify. So what happens next? Yeah, Dan, you're absolutely right. Um, Arizona is a purple state, and um, the election, for anyone who's concerned, the lead-in that you showed was very hard to watch. Uh, anyone who's concerned about the election in Maricopa County should read the report done by the Maricopa County uh, Board of Supervisors and the county attorney. It lays out with more transparency than I've ever seen as an election lawyer exactly what happened and the steps that were taken to address the problem. Thank you for watching. 
Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.